Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to celebrate this beautiful sacrament. Today is a beautiful day, special for you, Brian and Amanda. I'm really happy and excited to celebrate this wedding this mass. And welcome to all of you to this beautiful sacrament. Let us pray together. Let's ask God to bless this beautiful couple, this beautiful family that they are going to begin today. We have come rejoicing into the house of the Lord for this celebration, dear brothers and sisters. And now we stand with Ryan and Amanda on the day they intend to form a home of their own. Brian and Amanda, the church shares your joy and heartily welcome you together with your family and friends as today in the, in the presence of God our Father, you establish between yourselves a lifelong partnership. May the Lord hear you on this your joyful day. May he send you help from heaven and protect you. May he grant you your heart's desire to fulfill every one of your prayers. Now I will invite you to light the candle. Let us pray. Be attentive to our prayers, O Lord, and in your kindness, on hold what you have established for the increase of the human race, so that the union you have created may be kept safe by your assistance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Please be seated. I would like you to invite Genevieve.
Our reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, strive eagerly for the greatest gifts, the greatest spiritual gifts, but I shall show you a more excellent way. If I speak in human and angelic tongues, but do not have love, I am a resounding gong or a clashing cymbal. And if I have the gift of prophecy and comprehend all mysteries and all knowledge, if I have all faith so as to move mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give away everything I own, and if I hand my body over so that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient, love is kind. It is not jealous, it is not pompous, it is not inflated, it is not rude. It does not seek its own interests. It is not quick-tempered, it does not brood over inquiry, it does not rejoice over wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails. The word of the Lord. Thanks. 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 The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain. And after he had sat down, his disciples came to him. He began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will be inherent the Lamb. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they will show mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they insult you and persecute you, and utter every kind of evil against you, falsely because of me. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Ryan and Amanda, please don't cry too much because I will cry too. <laughs> it is appropriate that you begin your marriage life here in front of the altar, in front of God. It was God who loved you into existence since from the beginning. It was God's love that brought you together. It is his love that brings you here today. 
and it will be his love in the sacrament that you are going to receive that will keep you together forever. Next to the love of God, of course, is the love that you have for one another. A love that is most evident today. Unlike the love of God, this love can never be taken for granted. It must be married. You must take yourself worthy of it and keep yourself worthy of this love. Human beings are the only creatures on earth who feel love and hope. We are the only ones who have the capacity to truly love one another, to cherish one another, and to hope with one another. God is given us the ability to love and also the capacity to hope. It is one reason among many why we celebrate this sacrament. Because you are going to say, I do. But it's just not only I do. You are going to say, I do love you and I do hope. You are affirming that this mystery, you are saying that you will care for one another. You will care for one another, no matter what. You are saying that you believe that your future together will be better because you have each other. You are going to say that you are going to continue this journey and you will make a family, have kids, all blessing by God. Our Holy Father, Pope Francis, he said that there is three things very important in the matrimony. Permission, thanks, and forgiveness. He said, ask permission, please, may I? We must learn to ask, may I do this? Would you like you to do this? Would you like you to go out tonight? Courtesy is the sister of charity, which extinguish hate and protect love. Courtesy protects love. And today, in our families, we need that. Courtesy, to ask permission. Give thanks. Thank you. It seems easy to say that word. But sometimes it is not easy to say thank you. It is a very important to teach and to have in, in our family life, to give thanks and to thank always. It is not a kind of word to use just with the strangers, to show you to be educated. It is necessary to know how to say in order to get along. It's very important, always. Thank you. The last one that our Pope Francis says, ask for forgiveness. I'm sorry, or excuse me. In life, we make so many errors, many mistakes. Nobody is exempt to make mistakes. Everybody made mistakes. I, I told you yesterday, everybody has sins. We all make sins. And we made many mistakes. This is why we have to learn and recognize our mistakes and apologize. Sorry if I raise my voice today. I'm sorry if 
I went without saying goodbye. Sorry. Always is very important to learn to apologize. And the last one. Yeah, there is three things. I just said the three things. But one important thing. Never finish the day without making peace. Never, never, never. It is a big secret that protect your love, your family, and your peace. Never end the day making peace. And today is a big day. And we rejoice with you, all your family, your friends, also our community, because every sacrament that we celebrate is a big feast for us as a church, as a community, we are going to celebrate two sacraments, the Eucharist and the matrimony, very important for us. And you begin, you are going to begin in the right way. Let us ask God, and I will ask to all of you to pray today and to pray, all, to pray always for this beautiful couple. May God bless you always. May God give you all the blessing to your family. Amen. Dearly beloved, you have come together into the house of the church so that in the presence of the church minister and the community, your intention to enter into marriage may be strengthened by the Lord with a secret seal. Christ abundantly bless the love that binds you through a special sacrament. He enrich and strengthen those who have already consecrated by the holy baptism, that they may be fulfilled to each other forever and assume all the responsibilities of marriage life. And so in the presence of your friends, family, church, I will ask you your intentions. Brian and Amanda, have you come here to enter into marriage without coercion, freely and wholeheartedly? I have. Are you prepared as you follow the path of marriage to love and honor each other as, for as long as you both shall live? Are you prepared to accept children lovingly from God and to bring them up according to the law of Christ and his church? I am. Since it is your intention to enter the covenant of holy matrimony, join your right hands and declare your consents before God and his church. Brian, do you take Amanda to be your wife? Do you promise to be faithful to her in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, to love her and to honor her all the days of your life? I do. Amanda. Do you take Brian to be your husband? Do you promise to be faithful to him in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, to love him and to honor him all the days of your life? I do.
May the Lord in his kindness strength the consent you have declared before the church and graciously bring to fulfillment his blessing within you. What God joins together, let no one put asunder. May the Lord bless these rings which you will give to each other as a sign of your love and fidelity. receive this ring Amanda receive this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity as a sign of my love and fidelity in the name of the Father in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Son and of the Holy Spirit and of the Holy Spirit and the uh, Holy Spirit Brian, receive this ring. Brian, receive this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Please stand. Please respond, Lord, hear our prayers. For the church and its leaders, may our commitment to the gospel lead us to deepen our faith and to trust in God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our world and his leaders, may all the people be treated with dignity they deserve as God's children. Let us pray to the Lord. For our country and those who defend it, may our men and women who serve in the military be kept safe from all harm. Let us pray to the Lord. For those who are sick, lonely and depressed. May they be strengthened by God's love and his family and friends. Let us pray to the Lord. For all our guests gathered here with us today, may they enjoy the hard company of family and friends. Let us pray to the Lord. For Ryan and Amanda, may they live long blessed life together. May their love grow stronger each and every day. Let us pray to the Lord. For our deceased family members, Mary Moore, Madeline Arbalello, Jesse Dempsey, Alexander Nietzsche Anne and Floyd Kimball Edmund Stevens Edward Stay Steve Richard Moore 
जॉर्ज मेनर एंड ऑल दोज हैव डाई लेट अस प्रे टू द लॉर्ड now i will invite you to light the candle that means that they are going to join their life join their life this is why we have three candles the lives that are going to make one family Please be seated. I would like you to ask Randolph and Christine to bring the gifts that I located in the baptism font. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice and your hands. For the glory of the Lord in His name, for I am one Lord in the Holy, Holy Church. Receive, we pray, O Lord, the offering made on the occasion of this your secret bond of marriage, and just as your goodness. You love us by the providence of your love through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Live out your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you have for forget the covenant of marriage as a sweet joke, joke 
of harmony and an unbreakable bonds of peace so that your fruit of love in the holy matrimony may serve to increase the children you adopt as your own. By the providence and grace, O Lord, you accomplish the wonder of his design. That while we have a family, you bring together these your servants as a love and fidelity in the baptism and also in the matrimony. Therefore, with him and with all the angels and with all the saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. <laughs> kneel or be seated. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirits upon them like the dofold, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took breath and giving thanks he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Say this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given out for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Say this, all of you, and drain from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be put out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, Lord, we pray graciously accept this oblation of our service, the offering of your servant, Brian and Amanda, and of your whole family who entreat your mercy, your mystery in their behalf. And as you have brought them to their wedding day, so glad them with your gift of the children they deserve it. Bring them in your kindness to be land of day for which they hope through Christ our Lord. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who has pledged throughout the ages, we may marry to be coerced to eternal life 
and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, O mighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Please stand. At the Savior's command and for by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Give us our trespasses, before we call us to trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. Let us invoke by our prayers, dear brothers and sisters, God's blessing upon the bride and groom, that in his kindness he may bless them in the blessed matrimony. Holy Father, maker of the whole world, who created men and women in your own image, you will that their union be with your blessing. We humbly beseech you for these your servants who, who are joined today in the sacrament of matrimony. May your abundant blessing, Lord, come down upon the right, Amanda, and upon Brian, her companion for life, and they, and may the power of your Holy Spirit send their hearts aflame from a high, and that living out together with a gift of matrimony, they may adore their family with children and enrich our church through Christ our Lord. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reigns forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Please kneel or be seated.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessing are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I have no worthy pressure to enter into my roof. My only say the word and my soul shall be healed. If you are Catholic, in a good standing, I will invite you to come forward to receive the Eucharist. Otherwise, I will invite you for a blessing. The Baptist. The Baptist.
Let us pray. By the power of this sacrifice, O Lord, accompany with your loving favor what in your providence you have instituted so as to make of one heart in love those you have already joined in this holy union, Ryan and Amanda, that you may bless them through Christ our Lord. Please respond Amen after each petition. May God, the all-powerful Father, grant you this joy and bless you in your children. Amen. May the only begotten Son of God stand by your side, accompany you in all the time. Amen. May the Holy Spirit of God always pour forth his love into your hearts. Amen. May the God Almighty Father bless your family you are going to make and also bless your families and friends who are here today. Amen. And may Almighty God bless to all of you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. For the first time, I declare Mr. and Mrs. Moore. <laughs>